and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, hi there, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Here we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. The title of today's program is Knee Replacement Exercises, Less Pain and Less Pain Meds with Faster Rehab. So we're going to show you some techniques today to try to get you more movement with less pain. Exactly, which is everybody wants with a total knee. Right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to mm. subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go to our website, Bob and Brad. Go to the giveaway section because we're always giving something away. It actually has something to do with today's video. Oh, yes. You can also find it on Bob and Brad on Facebook, pinned to the top of the page, the contest that is. You want a short version of us, go to Instagram Oop. or Twitter or TikTok. But we don't yes. have TikTok on here. I know. But we it's still it there. Yeah, 60 <laughs> seconds version. We are giving away a TENS unit today, and that's what we're going to be talking about for pain control. Um, we're giving away a couple of these, I believe. Very good unit. One of our favorites. Really good instructions. Right. Uh, comes with uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, pads, too. Right. And it just er everything you need. It's one of the options for pain control, right. Bob. We've got, a, we've got something we else. We've got some other ones, yep. too. All right, Brad. All right. So... Total knee replacements. Bob and I have been uh, in this uh, practice for 30 years plus each. Um, well, not, I'm not quite as much You're as you, as but as me, anyways, yeah. we've done thousands of total knee replacements. Yes, we have. We've learned a lot of things. Rehabbed thousands. We didn't do the knee replacements. Right, yeah. We rehabbed them, got yeah. people back into the, the game of life again. And there are some techniques here that we want to share with you to accelerate your program so that you can get your knee moving, walking, and back to normal again. Are you saying we learned a few tricks over the years, Brad? Yeah, I, we certainly have. Okay. So let, let's get right to it. One of the right. things I do want to mention before we get into it is just the use of cold packs. Sure. Um, and if most everyone that does a knee replacement is introduced to cold packs and yes. the use of them, but they've done some studies on it. There's one done in 2017 uh, and actually proved in this study significant decrease in opioid pain meds. Which By using the, uh, the just ice. Just the cold pack. Cold pack, yeah. Exactly. We're also going to talk about the integrating the use of a TENS unit with this. Uh, but typically, let's start out with how people normally get out of surgery and they're in the hospital bed. Right. One of the first things you can do, why don't you lay down, Bob, as if you're the knee patient. All right. We're going to pretend this is a hospital bed. And they want you to get the knee moving as soon as possible. And... This is one thing that has just come out, and it's called a knee glide. And while you're in there, they used to have a CPM, Continuous Passive Motion right. Machine, which uh, not too many surgeons use them anymore. I'm just going to show this is a very lightweight, very, right. you know, less than five pounds. Right. So. He interrupted me. I'm sorry. Go ahead, That's man. all right. But this is much... Uh, Easier, a CPM machine has got an electric motor, it's heavy, you got to set it up, it's, it's awkward. And the benefit from this is this allows your muscles to do the work. So you're starting muscle reintegration already with this. So go ahead and show how yeah, it works. I put a little towel on there just to make my heel a little more comfortable. Right. We won't need the towel when you're sitting. Right. But this is just a real easy way to start. Let's say your knee's like this because you might maybe can't straighten all the way. Right. It's you can wrapped just, up. You can start just small little oscillation movements and then ho hopefully work up to some larger movements. Right. But this is just a great way to start getting some movement uh, while you're already in the hospital bed. Get things rolling. Right. This is one of the things probably the therapist is going to help you with to get going and then you can get on to doing it by yourself so you're, right. you feel comfortable with it. Um, the next thing is in the chair, uh, typically you're in a wheelchair right out of surgery. Um, and I don't know about other therapists out there, other people, but years past, they'd say you got to wax the floor. So the idea yeah. is you, you put a towel down uh, and hopefully you got a nice shiny floor and then you move your foot back and forth as the towel reduces the friction and you can do it. Now, this floor is an exercise floor. It's, it's rubber and it, it doesn't work at all. And it wouldn't work on carpet either. And it does not work on carpet either. Uh, that's the other thing with, with a knee glide, which is a really nice tool for this. You can use this, and all of a sudden you have very little friction at all. Uh, it works out really nice. And the other benefit of the knee glide is you can put it up on a stilt. And we have an incline. And so now we're actually going downhill, 
it's not a big difference, but it reduces the, the friction because you're going downhill, plus the ankle is now more dorsiflexed or up at an angle this way. It's more comfortable. Right. Yeah, my wife, when I was having her use this, uh, she was having knee problems, and we started with the flat. She goes, oh, that's hard on my ankle. Yeah. So it, it's not a minor thing. Um, so when she put it up, it was, it was more right. comfortable. And we right. find that with knee patients as well. Right. You start it out here, and, and you start working it back and forth in that manner. Um, and then to get more range of motion, because you want to break up that scar tissue from surgery as soon as you can, you're actually going to want to push it a little harder. And it's going to be a little painful at that point. Uh, and the therapist is going to say, well, we've got a push into that pain, break up the scar tissue, it's gonna hurt, you're not gonna tear the surgery apart. Uh, that's not an issue. Uh, so what I usually do, instead of me pushing on the person's leg, as a therapist, I'll say, take your other leg, put it over on your heel or up on the knee glide and use your good leg to help push it to give it a good stretch. It's gonna be a little painful, but you have to do that. And if you had a knee replacement, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, if we can break up that scar tissue a little more with less pain, everyone's happier. Right. So that's where we're going to use a TENS unit. And that's, uh, Bob. This is assuming you probably did some ice already. And now we're going to go ahead and, and you know, in between, because you can't ice all the time. Well, we're um, going to ice at the end of this, Bob. Sure. So we're going to incorporate that. But uh, you can use the TENS unit while you're actually working out. Yep. Or you can use it before you're working out, too. Exactly. And the reason I like to put it while the person is doing it, because it hurts the most when you're doing the passive range of motion. And I put the patches on, you know, you have to learn how to use the TENS unit. Your therapist uh, will show you. And that will make less pain when you're doing the passive, the stretch, the breaking up of that scar tissue. You can get a little bit further. And if you can get a few degrees further each day, it's all going to add up so that you're going to have a faster rehab. So that TENS unit is good. And there's been studies showing that TENS units are effective for reducing pain, particularly in a situation like this. Um, well, in some surgeries, Brad, they actually implant the, the electrodes. Uh, you know, they actually implant them, implant the TENS. You, but, but not, not a not knee, knee replacement, right? No. Yeah, in but other they've situations, they've done that. They've sure. done that. Yeah. yeah, in back chronic back pain right. is probably a good example of that. No, I had a neighbor girl that had it implanted because she had some chronic pain. Okay, yes, yeah. yeah. because yeah, tens units uh, do work. So right. what we're going to do is work with that, and once you get done, you're only going to do this for about maybe five to ten minutes, and you're right. going to have enough. You got yeah. the knee bending, but we also need to work on getting the knees. Straight. Right. We're going to leave the TENS unit on. The knee glide will set off to the side. And this is what I usually do, Bob, and I think most therapists yeah. do, is you put the knee up like this, and oftentimes it doesn't go totally straight. Right. It's still contracted a little bit in a bent position, and we're going to actually push down. And I'll have the patient go above the knee and push down. Initially, and gravity might be enough. Exactly. When you start off yep. with that. In fact, uh, I often like the stool like this because I go, let gravity do its thing for a while. Then if it hurts too much, give it a little break. Right. You know, and bend it and then let, let gravity jump in there yep. again. So when you come up like this, oh, it feels good. Let it go down, stretch. Oh, that's painful. The tens is going to help. Right. Um, you know, blunt, help blunt the pain. Exactly. So sometimes a little on and off motion will work good. It depends on patient to patient. Sure, a little oscillation we're do there. Some people, if they're, the pain isn't too bad, then I'll have them push a gently to get that stretch out. And then to finish off, what I usually do, Bob, is I'll have the person go to that position. So we got a stretch and the intensity of the stretch will vary. If I go out like this, it's pretty aggressive. Right. If you put it up in here so the the pad or the stool is under the calf, not, not so near, bad. Not nearly as yep. bad. Right. And also for pain and swelling management, I'm going to take the cold pack, which I have right here. I'm going to leave the TENS unit on so everything is still working. I'm going to put the cold pack. So now we have not only the TENS managing the pain, but the cold pack is going to help the pain and the swelling. And the weight of the cold pack gives you more of a stretch. So it all varies. You might, you know, when you put that on, it might be too much of a stretch. Then you'll bring it in closer so that it's not so bad. 15, you, want to, you want to experiment around with it. Yeah, it's all, and you'll, you'll learn this very quickly. You, you figure out what works for you and what doesn't. Right, exactly. 15 minutes of the cold pack. 
and then you're going to take things off, take the TENS unit off, and then it's nice to go for a little walk. I have, you know, sometimes you can have patients work on the extension laying down too, Brad. You yep. can take the knee glide, put the towel on here, and you're like this, and you can even sit up like this, and you can work on trying to straighten here right while you're in bed. Right. Give it a little push like this. Exactly. Yep. So this is kind of a nice, comfortable way. Uh, hamstrings are a little bit tighter. Uh, in this position, I guess if you lay down like this, it'd be a little less. Right. And you can work on straightening that way too. Yep. We like to go at it from a lot of different angles when you have trouble straightening it out. Exactly. Uh, so bending it straight, all these little things are going to increase your rehab time, get you back on your feet again, feeling good and comfortable. And uh, Bob, I don't know, what more can we say? Except we can for, fix just about anything. Except for. A broken heart. Right. Knees are a lot easier than yeah, a heart. I can are. tell you that. We'll get to it someday. <laughs> exactly.